We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm doing all right, Jared. How are you? How's, how's your lip sync doing? Is lip sync good? Yes. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't bad. <laughs> that wasn't bad, Kyle. You're a very talented person. I didn't know you had that one in your bag of tricks, though. Thank you. No. <laughs> All right, week four. We are week four here of our Snoop Picks here, Jared. Jared, how are we doing on the Snoop Picks? I don't know. How are we doing on the Snoop Picks? Uh, don't look, Jared, because uh, we're not doing too well. Uh, but I am beating you, and that's what matters. How bad is it? I feel I didn't feel like I, I was doing bad, but I also wasn't fact-checking my feelings. <laughs> uh, you want to know how many points you had in no. week three, Jared? No. Not not if you're going to make whatever that you face. Th- whatever not you think you're... it is, whatever you think it is, it's lower than that. What if I think it's zero? Ha! <laughs> ah, well, got him. Guys, I got him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not off to a hot start, but we're going to do better, Jared. We're going to do better, and that starts here at week four. We we got six games to pick here, Jared. Uh, and if you wanted to... Week four and a half. Week four and a half. What? Oh, whatever. If you want to listen I to... Made that jo- State I no- made that joke last week. <laughs> if you want to listen to our Ohio State Notre Dame prediction, listen to our Thursday episode. But we'll jump right into it, Jared. We're going to start off strong here. We're going to go in the Big Ten Nooner game on the Big Ten Network. Rutgers undefeated... Rutgers taking all that team up north where they, where they are or where the uh, skunk bears or the skunk weasels as cousin Jay says here is a 24 and a half or yeah 24 and a half point favorite but Jared I think it's going to be closer than that I think it's going to be closer I, I, I got I got the team in Scarlet covering this game. Will they win? No, I, th- I think I, th- I think Michigan will win this easily. I, I got I got this I got the team in Scarlet covering this game. As a as a as a wise, very entertaining, cranky old man once said, "Much closer than the experts believe. Much closer than the experts think." Ha! <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Rutgers on this one, Kyle. Um, well, yeah, I, that, here, here, that, that's right. Hairball will be joining, or yeah. excuse me, Hardball will be. Uh, he's risking, he's risking further punishment by not taking the four game suspension by only taking a three game suspension given to him by the university instead of uh, the NCAA by not obeying by not agreeing to the NCAA four game suspension. He is risking additional time loss down the road so he can come back and coach in a minus 24 game against Rutgers. He is not a smart man. No, we we, we knew this already, Jared. We knew this. Uh, But yeah, uh, I got I got Rutgers to uh, scare Michigan in this game. I don't think they I don't think they pull it off. But I got Rutgers to give Michigan a decent scare in this game. Kyle, side bet. Over under at 44 and a half. Feels low to me. What do you think? I'll go over with that one. Yeah, that seems that seems low. I'll go over here. Yeah, I, f- I feel like that's a I feel like that's an easy over, which of course means that I'm wrong. All right. The next game here. Austin says I would have put the over under at 48.5 personally. That's closer. Uh, oh, Austin, you weren't here when we did over unders during uh, Know Your Enemy. Um, I called one of your numbers exceptionally good. Which one do you think it was? We're playing a side game down in the chat. All right. And our, our guest, while well, he's uh, looking that up, Jared. Our guest picker is Cousin Jay in the Discord. Uh, and your family tree. Be, yes. 
he will be he'll be uh, picking alongside us here and uh, let's see what he says here for the Rutgers and Michigan game here he says cousins that pick uh, together stay together Kyle yeah well he says um oh he do, he he doesn't think alike here he's he's got the skunk weasels have not looked at any Rutgers stats ex- except that they're undefeated don't care T ton in the points. Uh, it it was McCord pass yards, Austin. It was McCord pass yards. All right, well, cousins don't think the same, so. <laughs> yeah, but you're still picking together. You may have picked it picked separately, but you're still picking together. You you in in this episode of the Sloopcast, you're picking together. You you've come together to pick games, even if you disagree. It makes sense. Stop looking at me like that. Next game, Kyle. Next game. Stop dead airing the podcast. Florida State and gives me anxiety. (laughs) Florida State and Clemson. Florida State is a two and a half point favorite. And Jared. Florida State. Ranked fourth. Clemson. Not not florida state two and a half point favorite what there's a lot of there's a talented <laughs> team there's still a lot of talent on the clemson football team even if none of it seems to be working right now so was last year i, I the offense was shit i agree that's why i'm also taking florida state but it God, it feels so obvious that I have that we have we have to be getting it wrong, right? This feels so, so like you, a so trap. You, is so my point. You, so you think that this is a that Clemson's going to pull up the upset in this game? No, I don't. I I think Florida State should absolutely destroy them. But why is it a two and a half point game? This feels like a trap. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying it's the because, answer it's is so obvious that it has to be a trap. It's because Clemson put up 48 points on FAU last week. Knowles that's sleepwalked what, what, into a nooner question mark. That's why they, they better not. It's still Clemson. Clemson. If my tone, Clemson, if my tone doesn't, if my tone doesn't back, get to you on who, who I pick at it's, it's the, Seminoles here. Yeah. Knowles shit themselves versus BC. So uh, every, every, every good team. And I don't know how good Florida state is or isn't because I don't know how good LSU is or isn't, but every team has a, Oh, they played really bad against an inferior opponent game. The good ones still find a way to win. Every team has one of those or two of those during the course of a season. Hell, it got, might be he, the wake-up call that they State needed Jared. in order to. What's it? No, yeah, no, I picked Florida State. I was gonna say I right. picked Florida State. I'm just acknowledging that it feels like a trap. That's all. All right, uh, cousin Jay says he takes Florida State. Thinks last week was a snoozer for for Florida State, and they come out winners and the points. I agree. I right, uh, speaking of. Um, snoozing last week here uh alabama and Ole miss is our next pick here a 330 kickoff in tuscaloosa where alabama is a six and a half point favorite now this is one of those things where when alabama loses yeah doesn't happen often but when they lose yeah you don't want to be that next team but they aren't that they aren't their next team, though. That was South Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you also don't want to play Alabama the week after they go to Tampa. It felt like, it felt like a loss. It, felt like it, a it loss. did feel like a lot. <laughs> it felt like a loss before they even kicked off because they went to Tampa. No offense when it lives in Tampa. It's just... I'd rather live in Tampa than Tuscaloosa. My point is, is that why the hell is Bama? I don't know, it'd be like if Ohio State 
went like and played, I don't know, at Nippert Stadium. Has uh has Kiffin beaten Saban at all? I feel like he only beaten him once, maybe at Tennessee. Has he no. even beaten him? No. 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 Never. Never. Give, 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 give me Bama and points and more. I, I think I think Alabama is going to try to make a statement here. Uh, and and if they don't like, if they still come out uh, just flat footed in this game, you you can. You can put almost a, a pitchfork in, in Alabama, in my opinion. Here, honestly, I don't, I don't want to go as far as as back in twenty fourteen when Ohio State lost to Virginia Tech, and everybody saying, "Oh, throw them out, throw them out." They they're not going to win this I year. Still I, I don't wince wanna, when I, don't, I hear I don't wanna, the word albatross. I don't want to go there yet, but if they fall if they fall flat here and look bad again, it's. It's not going to bode well for for Alabama the rest of the year here. But I'll, I'll hold on. But 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 for hold my on. but for my pick, I got Alabama to cover. We got all excited, and I missed one of my one of the best jokes I've ever seen in the Discord live chat. When asked, when you asked, has has Saban or has uh, Kiffin ever beat Saban? He did in 2014. <laughs> Good work. Good work, Spikes. Good work. All right. What do you got, Jared? Uh, in the Know Your Enemy show, in the Know Your Enemy episode that we did yesterday, or, you know, 20 minutes ago, depending upon which reality you're in, um, I said, if you give me an opportunity to pick Ohio State and they're favored by less than a touchdown, I'm going to take it. Alabama's favored by less than a touchdown. I'm going to take it. I'm I'm going to take that opportunity. It feels like rare real estate. So Cousin Jay here uh, picks Ole Miss here. Something just seems off with this Bama team. Not sure who they are going to trot out at QB. Well, they, I, I think they did make a statement earlier. I don't know if it was Tuesday, maybe it was Monday, but he he did come out and and say who is his quarterback, and that's the um the first court the first quarterback um Jalen Jalen's their their quarterback um. But they have no. But their offense has no flow. Ole Miss likes to score points, and they do very well against Bama, usually in that department. Ole Miss will cover with the cover and the W. Well, you you, you missed one part there, uh, Jay. They, they they like to score points against Bama, but they can't beat Bama. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a different, worse Bama. It is. It is, and it's really. It's just so odd seeing that, and maybe maybe we just need to take it all in and just enjoy enjoy seeing this kind of Bama, I guess. I don't know. Uh, part of me would say don't don't throw dirt on Bama yet, but yeah. at the same time, and the please don't think I'm trying to stitch together the throwing dirt death imagery with the fact that I'm saying now saying Nick Saban's old. I'm not, please, please, please separate those two things in your mind. Cause I'm only saying that he's, he, you know, he's going to retire soon. That is all I mean by that. Um, but like he's, does Nick Saban, does Nick Saban have it in him to rebuild Alabama? Too late. Can't take it back. No, I, 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 I stopped myself. I realized what I was going to say before I said it, <laughs> and I and I separated those two pieces of of imagery. All right, next game here. 
UCLA and Utah. 3.30 game on Fox. And Utah is a four and a half point favorite. U Utah is this team so far this year that that they should be like the the best or one of the best Pac-12 teams this year. Pac what now? But I, 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 under, I understand that they have the understand that their best quarterback has been hurt and they just been kind of struggling to pass the ball, which they they have. They haven't even been able to they've only passed for five hundred yards in three games. Not good. Not good, Jared. Uh so th this game here I think could be a lot closer here. I think Utah is just playing with fire. They just they they I mean they, they had the big win against Florida. They Almost lost to Baylor. They didn't have a great showing over Weber State last weekend here. Yep, the final score is 31 to 7, but they just, the offense just doesn't look that good here. So you're playing UCLA here this weekend. Yeah, where is, it, where is Utah going to come up with the offense here? That's, that, that's going to be the big, that's going to be the big question here, though. But who, who do you got in this game? I'm going to Utah. Uh, UCLA's put up some impressive numbers, but who boy, have you looked at? Have you, have, have you seen their? Have you seen their schedule thus far? Um, Utah's already got a good win in the bag with Florida. I know who Utah is. I don't know who UCLA is. Um, four and a half points is an acceptable. Uh, amount of risk to take on. I'm taking Utah. Yeah, my my gut instinct is Utah as well. I mean, yeah, UCLA hasn't played anybody. Uh, Coastal Carolina, San Diego State, NC Central. I kind of wish I'd have watched UCLA and Coastal Carolina just for the uniforms. That must have been a pretty game to watch. Those those are two elite set sets of uniforms right there. UCLA and Coastal Carolina. Um, I'm just looking at some pictures real quick True, here. Jared. Yeah, thank you, Austin. You see, you, UCLA came out with their powder blue and um, yellow cut, yellow pants. Um, their gold pants, and then uh, it looks like Coastal Carolina came out with their turquoise uh, pants and white shirt and uh, white helmet. Pretty game had to have been. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Cousin Jay, uh, I pick I pick Utah as well. Uh, Cousin Jay here says Utah, like their old school program style, and I think they continue their season strong. Take the points and cover. There you go. All right, Jared. Next game. Next game here also at three thirty. A lot of good games this this week. Last week was kind of a snoozer. Yeah, yeah. We had we had two. We had two uh, top 25 teams that lost last weekend, but there were seven rank-on-rank -rank games this weekend. A lot, a lot of good games. A lot of good games this weekend here. So, A lot of good games. I, th I think you mentioned in uh, last week's episode about, like, if you're going to get anything done on yeah, a yeah. weekend, do it that weekend. La la last week was a good chore weekend. This is a good um, sit your ass on the couch and tell the kids to just go the F outside while they still are able to because it's going to be snowing soon. Yeah. Uh, Zach said it best here. Football finally starts. <laughs> kind of. This is, this feels, it feel it kind of feels like we just got through the preseason and now we're ready to start playing for real. Unless of course you're Alabama. <laughs> Or Florida or Tennessee. Um, he's already chalked up some losses on the year. Kyle, Colorado and Oregon. C Coach Prime. Coach Lanning. Going at it here. Oregon is a 20 and a half point favorite. 20, excuse me, 21 and a half point favorite in this game. Seems very high. That seems really high, especially the way Colorado has been playing here. Yes, they... They are with going to be without Travis Hunter in this game, which is a big blow for Colorado. 
But man, 21 and a half seems like a lot. I have a hard time pick, picking Oregon to cover here because I just I just think Colorado will find ways to excuse me to keep it closer. Now, I think Oregon should be able to win this game uh like by two scores, but 21 and a half is just too much for me. I'll I'll pick, I'll pick the Buffaloes. It does it does feel like a lot. Um, you do have to, and by the way, Austin said in the chat that would have placed Oregon at 13 and a half. I, that feels much more in line to me. Um, uh, Z spikes over under is 71. That feels right. That, 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 that feels right. That actually feels, I, I actually would take the over on that. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's just like Colorado has a lot of attention around them right now. And I think sometimes we confuse attention with quality. If something's getting a lot of attention, it must be good. Um I mean, to be to be fair, like Saunders is um Sanders is having a really good season. He's completing seventy nine percent of his of his passes, twelve hundred and fifty one yards, ten touchdowns to one interception. He's, he's playing very, very well. Now, now, now the, now the running attack is is piss poor. They're only averaging two yards a carry. <laughs> but I mean, Sanders Sanders is playing really, really well here. But no, and, he, and he's going to be the and he's going to be the reason that they they keep it but close. No, but no, Travis Hunter. Closer. Yeah, that that is true. Yeah, they're going to be without Travis Hunter, but they still they still have uh, Xavier Weaver, who's Who's his main target here? And and, uh, and I really like I really like uh, their running back Edwards too. I think you've seen I think you've seen Edwards um, and in moments show really good uh, athletic abilities here. If he can get out in the open, he's he's going to cause a lot of damage here. But but they they got to get their running game going. But uh, yeah, Col- Colorado, it's going to be, going to be closer than twenty one. With Colorado, we saw them play a TCU team that returned nobody. They they just didn't return anybody. As a brand new TCU squad, they they put it on Nebraska. Good job, Nebraska sucks. Um, and they they also had a momentous amount of both player and coach turnover at Nebraska. And then they went to overtime to beat Colorado state. Like it's just, I think, I think right now we're confusing quality with attention. Um, But the 21 number is just so big and I'm gonna, I'm going to go, I have to, I have to pick Colorado because that 21 and a half just, it's too much. Right. And uh, Cousin Jay says he is picking Oregon. Uh, he's going to be a two-game slide for Colorado, I believe, especially with Hunter missing those two games. Here's the thing. I agree. Yeah. yeah I think I think it is going to be a two-game slide, but again, it does, 21 and a half points. No, but, but 21 and a half points. Oregon wins. USC, they, they, if you don't know, they play USC next week. Colorado does. They'll lose that game too. Um, you know they're they're, and then that by the way, a lot of people then try and make the case that that means that Colorado is bad. Actually, no, Oregon and USC are very good football teams. They they shouldn't beat those teams. No. no. All right. Uh, next game here we have. Actually, it's our last game. Last game here, 7.30, that none of us are going to be watching, is Iowa and Penn State. Uh, Penn State is a 14 and a half point favorite. And Jared, and don't look it up. What do you think the over-under is in this it's, game? It's, on, it's in the show notes, Kyle. No, it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm staring right at it. We can ask the chat, the chat those, without those looking those it chat. up. Yeah, those in the chat, chat. What do you think the over-under is in this game? 
while they Penn State, Iowa. No, it's thirty-four. <laughs> Uh, they're they're all pretty in line, with the exception of, of Zach, who's dead on. Yeah, uh, the over-under yeah, for this game is 40 points. Uh, Penn State's favored by 14 and a half. Um, they're, they're calling for a snoozer here, Kyle. Or excuse me, a, a defensive struggle. Yeah. Yeah, I I think I think that's exactly what we're going to see here. I think it's going to be a it's going to be tough sledding for the offenses here and To be fair, 27-13 sounds so right. That you yeah. I agree. You're not wrong here. I didn't I didn't say that I, yeah, I I'm I'm acknowledging the numbers. I'm not saying they're wrong. <laughs> Histor- historically this has been always a close game. In, in recent uh, Penn State Iowa games, this has been a very close game, so I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with that logic, and I'm going to pick Iowa to cover. I still think Penn State's going to win. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing, and the other thing too, and, and maybe it's because Michigan and Ohio State's to blame for this, but they they don't win that that many games as many as they should in whiteouts. Austin, uh, hold on, time out. I, I hate that whiteout stat. That they, you know, don't win many of their whiteout games. That's because they always do the whiteout when the best team comes. Well, they, they, or they, they at least mixed, they used they to. They mixed it up this. They mixed it up this year. And they're like, oh, this well, is we, we, second we got, or we... third year where they aren't doing because for years it was just because they'd always either have they'd have either Ohio State or Michigan at home. So every year it was just the whiteout versus Ohio State or the whiteout versus Michigan. Um Anyway, uh Austin says 27-20 final as possible. Uh, uh take the over and take Iowa as weird as a sentence as that is. I agree on well, both counts. All right. Iowa's got to score touchdowns. You know that, right? Yeah, but they'll they'll get they'll get a, they'll get like they'll get like one offensive touchdown because the defense put them in good position. Uh, where they or because have... of a turnover a turnover that put them in good position. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. A turnover okay, that okay, put them in good okay. position, um, and, and then the defense will just straight up score a touchdown, and then they'll get two field goals. Well, I mean, I mean, what what does what does PSU stand for? Pick, pick six, six university. university. So yeah, there, there's going to be a pick six in here. So so I think I think it's like Iowa twenty, um, Penn State like thirty one. Mm, no, lower than that. I, I'd say this is more of like a Iowa seventeen, Penn State twenty seven game, twenty four. Mm. You know what? I think you're. I think you're right. I think it's probably only one field goal. Yeah, no, nah, you're, 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 you're. Uh, I like Kyle's prediction better. You know, two safeties and a field goal. <laughs> the uh, the old Iowa touchdown. The Iowa touchdown. All right, cousin Jay says here he's picking Iowa. I believe Penn State wins in the wideout, but Iowa's offense doesn't see it. Because they can't even see their defensive opponents three yards away from them. Iowa defense keeps it close, but Penn State wins with a defensive score. But Iowa keeps it closer than two touchdowns and the hook. Total side note, if I were going to play in the whiteout, I know Iowa's like very classic with their uniforms. Like we never, almost never, they... Like one of the few times we saw Iowa do something weird with their uniforms was, of course, the night they absolutely rocked our faces. Um, but they're normally very classic. I'm just saying, if I were going to be coaching a game against the whiteout, I would bring my all white jerseys. Just embrace the chaos. Let your own guys sort of sink into the crowd a bit, which is very helpful on defense, although it might be detrimental on offense. 
I'm just saying embrace it. They don't they never had an all white though. I You you can't you know it's coming. Get some white fucking pants. You have a you have a Nike contract. Make one, Kyle. Thank you, Spikes. This is why I did the whole preamble about how Iowa very rarely strays from their normal uniforms. That that's what all that preamble was for. To say I know it would be weird, but Yes, unfortunately, Jared is right. That's as good as I can get out of the chat some days. This is the only Austin ultra- only ever says I'm right when I'm talking about uniforms. This is the only alternate uniform that I've seen from Iowa. Was well, it th- well, are you talking about when they destroyed us? Because that, that's that when one. they came okay. out looking like so, the Caterpillar tractors. So they're not going to wear all black. They're not going to wear all black because Penn State's going to be wearing uh, their blue. Yes, it has to be uh, a white jersey. <laughs> they're like, don't show us, Kyle. Don't, don't, show, don't show us the Caterpillar jerseys. Mm. Wait. don't yeah, do it. it it was that one the, the, the it, night it, they kicked our ass they were wearing the caterpillar tractor oh, oh no 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 not not the black ones no i'm not talking about the black ones that, those are the caterpillars okay I, okay no no it's not it's not the black ones no it's not the ones that um that they beat ohio state it's quite the opposite of that oh no <laughs> oh no to to the to the listeners i'm not even going to try and describe this they look like oregon but if oregon sucked <laughs> i've never seen oregon look that bad how how do i i this must they, have given they me they call it their gold they call it their gold uniforms Cool. Good for them. Those look like if Oregon and Missouri had a yellow headed <laughs> stepchild. Yeah, that's. Yes, they, they said these are the gold uniforms with throwback wings. So, yeah, that's th- the black feathers. Yes. Knowing that they're black feathers should make it better. It doesn't. No. That's the worst I've ever seen a Hawkeye look, and that's including Jeremy Renner when he ran himself over. Yeah, they're going to wear. They're going to wear the white and yellow, white white top, yellow pants. Are you Are you mad at me for the Jeremy Renner joke, Austin? <laughs> All right. Um. So I've only I've only ever heard that he's a complete douchebag asshole for what it's worth. Yeah. Um, so that is all the picks here, but we do have a few questions from Coach Nomad. Is he in the chat? No, Coach is not in the chat here. But we're gonna we're gonna answer some uh, questions here. He says here, if you're ranked ten, and your opponent is ranked nineteen, and you are favored by twenty and a half points, should your opponent really be ranked nineteen? Um, Vegas doesn't, well, of course he's saying, should they be, um, probably not, but like I said, we confuse attention with quality a lot, just like as a society, if something's getting attention, then that must mean it's worthy of the attention, which is not the case. Right. Uh, does Shiano steal Jimmy Harb's milk and hot dogs before the game? If he's trying. I mean, that that should be in the game plan. Mm-hmm. If it's not, and I trust that Shiano, being an Italian in New Jersey, always has like a little bit of gamemanship in his mind. Wait a minute. Where is this? I forgot. Is this... New Jersey, Michigan. Ah, uh, that's the hot dogs. The hot dogs and the milk are going to be in a very secure facility. 
that's going to be difficult. If it were on the road, and plentiful. If it was on the road, well, the hot no, there, there's no place on earth where hot dogs are more plentiful. Well, maybe Chicago, uh, but but nowhere else on the East Coast are hot dogs more plentiful than in 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 New Jersey. This is a fact <laughs> that I just made up, but it's still true. Uh, another question here: Is Duke an actual ACC contender? No. Sure. <laughs> I mean, they. I think they're going to win. Ultimately, they're going to win more games than I think a lot of people think they would before the season starts. Kyle, but of all do, of the universities, they do, they do play. They do play Notre Dame. They play Florida State, and they play U UNC this year. Yeah, I. I'm going to say. Are they an actual contender? I'm going to say no, but it, it's fun watching them beat Clemson. Sadly, Kyle. Kyle. Of all of yes, this, there teams, is no divisions. Of all of the teams within uh, thirty miles of you, uh, that's they're in my top two of teams who I expect to go to the ACC championship game. Okay. More than 30 miles away, but I, I got you. Is it? No shit. I was about to ask follow-up questions, and then I realized I'd just be, like, dialing people into your exact location, so I stopped myself. All right, Coach Nomad. We, we, we get you with this uh, next question here. Is it pronounced Alar or Alar? I'm sorry, are you bringing pronunciation-based questions to the Sloopcast? I'm sorry, that's just insensitive. It is. That's just insensitive. I feel like you're making fun of us for our uh, name blindness, and that's um, not very politically correct of you, and I'm offended. We mispronounce names here. We We don't got to... We don't got to make says, fun. As Zach says uh, in the chat there, it's the rule. Alar. All right. And last question here. And we got, we got, we're going to have to wrap it up here. Will this be the only big, will this, let me try that again. Will this be the only time big noon goes to nip in the 21st century? I don't know. Um, I mean, I the only Big time... Twelve will stick around a little bit longer than we think they will. So you don't know. The Big Twelve has staying power. It just won't be relevant. Um, will this be the only time? I'm, I'll say no, because I. It's just that's just that's a very definitive statement. Yeah, I'm going to say no. No, will 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 it happen the next? Like how many times will it happen in the next five years? Listen, maybe put it, maybe put it at one and a half. But <laughs> if they were smart, like, or I guess maybe if they had the resources like ESPN had or has, then they wouldn't even be going to this game. They announced they were going to the Oklahoma Cincinnati game for Big Noon before Cincinnati ended up losing to fucking Miami and not the Hurricanes. Yeah, I was going to say which one. Hmm. All right, that, that's it. That TCU is all the questions, others, Jared. Their existence, but not their relevance. TCU ends up in the SEC before it's said and done. Yeah. All right, that's that's it, Jared. We are, as tradition, way over on time here. So we are we're just nah, going to go ahead and we're, we're coming. We're going to go right ahead and about, wrap it up we're, here. We're coming in right about forty. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um. I know we're supposed to do 30 for these, but it's Notre Dame week. We're having fun. Um, yep, that's it. That's the end of the episode. Um, what's What are you doing, Kyle? Nothing. End the show. <laughs> Plug the SSS. That's a good idea. Um, every single week, every single week, um, we 
get together in the Discord server, discord.thesloopcast.com, and we watch one of the... I almost, I almost said we watch a game together in the Discord, but that's not true. We, we, we watch a window. We sort of separate it out into the noon window, the midday window, and the evening window. We all sort of collectively decide which window we're going to watch. Um, we the, the vote is not finalized uh, yet for, as we record this anyway, it's not finalized yet for which one we're doing this week. But last week, we watched uh, Tennessee get absolutely rocked by Florida, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, we... Uh, you hear my commentary. You hear everyone's commentary. Um, everybody in the Discord server is welcome to watch along with us. Um, the voice privileges in the server is is locked down to the uh, Patreon members, but everyone's lis- everyone's welcome to watch and to listen. Um, if you want to talk, that's three dollars a month. But <laughs> everyone's welcome to watch and listen. Um, we had hope for Bowling Green for a little while, and it was fun. Yeah, we we didn't we didn't need Bowling Green to win that game, but the the possibility of it was delicious, and that's all that matters. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the show. Caught everything in Kyle's corner. South Florida too. Yeah, we we were watching the South Florida game for a minute. Um, I like how I Buckeye call it the wide, South Florida but, game instead of the Bama game. Buckeye wide receivers and then NFL doing things. That's back to back amazing catches by Ohio, uh, former Ohio State wide receivers. Um, week one, it was Garrett Wilson with a great catch, and then this last weekend, uh, Chris Olave with a spectacular catch too. Exactly developed here. Who's next? Who's who's going to be week three, Jared? Who's going to have the amazing catch in week three for uh, former Ohio State players or former Ohio State wide receivers? Uh, I mean, I'm just going to say it's Garrett Wilson again. I was, I was going to say I was going to say uh, Scary Terry. That's a good call. That's a good call. Zach, uh, Zach, Zach, and I on the same wavelength there. All right, that's it, Jared. That's all I got. All right. Uh, tonight's ending music brought to you by Playing to Vapors. Playing to Vapors uh, doing tonight's ending music. Uh, so with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and, of course, support your local podcasters once again. Playing to Vapors. <laughs>